Am I the butthole for pulling my offer to loan my daughter-in-law money after she called me a control freak? Posted by No Breakfast 6249. About a year ago, my daughter-in-law opened a restaurant. My son is not involved and works full time. I've eaten there when I visited their city and was not impressed. The food is decent but inconsistent and that's about the only good thing I can say about her place. The soup is always lukewarm and sometimes the dishes are hotter than the food. The staff was rude and spent most of their time either on their phone or in groups talking. This meant it took longer than necessary to clean tables after diners have already left. On my last visit, the table next to me was empty yet full of dirty dishes for the duration of my meal. The restroom was never clean on any of my visits and was out of soap more times than it had soap. Last night, I had my children and their families over for Sunday dinner. During this visit, my daughter-in-law asked me for a $100,000 loan for her restaurant. She told me how her business is inconsistent and that's caused her to burn through their savings. We spoke for a while until I offered to loan it to her but with some changes. I told her about the problems I listed above and options on how to fix them. She got very agitated at this and sarcastically asked how many restaurants I've owned. I didn't appreciate her response so I answered, none, but I've never skydived before, but know enough to not jump out of a plane without a parachute. That got the attention of everyone at the dinner table. Eventually she said the restaurant it has, she doesn't need suggestions from someone who's never ran one before I'll give her this point, and that I'm a control freak to try to tell her what to do with her own business. At this point I withdrew my loan offer and dinner was pretty much over and they left to go home instead of the original plan of staying until Tuesday. I haven't heard from my son this morning but his siblings are split on the issue. Some said it's my choice to loan or not loan her the money but I shouldn't tell her what she needs to do. Others said that I am right that if I am putting my money at risk I have a say on how she's running her place. Here is my AI opinion. It sounds like your daughter-in-law has some growing up to do when it comes to running a business. She needs to take responsibility for the issues you mentioned and not become defensive or aggressive when someone offers constructive criticism. It's understandable that she might be frustrated, but her reaction was unprofessional and could potentially harm her business. As for your decision about loaning her money, it's important to consider your own financial situation and whether or not you are comfortable putting $100,000 at risk. If you do decide to loan her the money, it might be a good idea to set some boundaries and expectations for how the business will be run and what steps she will take to address the issues you mentioned. It's also worth considering whether or not your son and his siblings should be involved in this decision. While it may be your money at risk, it could also have an impact on your relationship with your son and his family. It might be helpful to have a conversation with them about your concerns and see how they feel about the situation before making any decisions. Overall, it sounds like your daughter-in-law has some work to do to improve her business and her professionalism. It's important to approach this situation with caution and consider all of your options carefully before making any decisions. Do you think it's fair for the grandmother to loan $100,000 to her daughter-in-law without any conditions or changes? Should the grandmother have shared her concerns about the restaurant with her daughter-in-law in the way she did? D. Thomas likes to add, She's asking for a large loan. You are understandably worried about if she will be able to repay you. Giving opinions on how to increase business in order to ensure your loan is a good decision on your part is valid. It's your money and your choice. If it doesn't seem like a good investment, don't do it. Not the butthole. Dependent aside minus 9,750 likes to add. Not the butthole. Never throw good money after bad. Clearly, she's never run a restaurant before either. Regardless, it's your money, your conditions. If she's not willing to listen to the customer experience, no amount of money in the world will save her business. To your listener, if you want more of this content, please consider subscribing. It will really help the channel grow. Thank you for your consideration. Am I the butthole for telling my son I am not buying him new food since he ruined his and he can be hungry for a few hours? Posted by Wolverine Fragrant 931. It's been a long day, I have a son named Jack that is 14. He is a horrible picky eater so getting lunch out on a town is a nightmare most of the time. Now I had all the kids with me to go visit a relative in the hospital, everyone got grabbed out of school for it. The hospital was a three hour drive and we went up this morning. By lunch everyone was starving so we stopped by Chick-fil-A. 
There is a trend of putting the mac and cheese on the sandwich with a sauce. Jack mentioned this and I told him I will not buy him more fruit if he does it and he doesn't like it. Well he did it and he hated it. Now everything was touching so he couldn't just eat the sandwich after taking it off. I didn't buy him more fruit like I said and he didn't eat his concoction that he made. After that we drove back home and he was really hungry. My wife came home and he started telling her how I starved him. We got in argument for not buying him more even though we could afford it. Both of them think I am a huge jerk for this. Am I the butthole should I have just bought more? He doesn't have sensory issue and he is only allergic to cats. We had him dusted. If he doesn't find the taste up to his liking, he won't eat it. This includes leftovers. Same meal he liked before is not worth eating as the leftover. Guys, this kid's has been tested. The school checks for being on the spectrum. He's not on it. Yes, I know what effort is. He doesn't have it. Here is my AI opinion. It sounds like you are dealing with a very picky eater and it's understandable that you might be frustrated by this behavior. However, it's important to remember that children can be sensitive to certain textures or flavors and it's possible that your son has a sensory issue that is making it difficult for him to eat certain foods. I would recommend speaking with a pediatrician or a registered dietitian to roll out any underlying medical issues that might be contributing to your son's picky eating. They can also provide guidance on how to encourage healthy eating habits and address any sensory issues that may be present. In the meantime, it might be helpful to offer your son a variety of healthy food options at mealtimes and to avoid forcing him to eat certain foods that he does not like. Instead, try offering him small portions of new foods and gradually increasing the amount as he becomes more comfortable with them. It's also important to remember that children often learn by example, so it might be helpful to model healthy eating habits for yourself. This can include trying new fruits, eating a variety of fruits and vegetables, and avoiding overly processed or high sugar fruits. Overall, it's important to approach this situation with patience and understanding, rather than resorting to punishment or negative reinforcement. By working together as a family to encourage healthy eating habits, you can help your son develop a positive relationship with food that will serve him well throughout his life. Was the parent justified in not buying more fruit for their son after he didn't like the mac and cheese sandwich? Does the child have any sensory issues or allergies that could explain their picky eating habits? A comment from Donna Majone. Not the but all sometimes it is not about money, it is about teaching a lesson, especially with kids. He was given the consequences of his actions before he made his decision. He chose to make that decision anyway. He could have cut off a quarter of the sandwich and put the mac and cheese on the small part then had the rest to eat if it went wrong. He chose all or nothing instead. He will never learn about consequences if he does not have to deal with them. No 14 year old is going to starve to earn alive for missing one meal. It is not like he missed a week's worth of meals, it was one. Your wife needs to learn to stop caving to a child. He will remain picky forever. Catskill Kid commented. Yes. I love the fries and you should have enjoyed the meal. Your son. He needs to learn a lesson. You did not refuse him food, you bought him food. You told him not to mix his food that he wanted, but he did. Jack refused to eat the food he wanted because of his actions that he was warned against. Jack is unaware of consequences and your wife is not helping. He was hungry only because of his own actions. If he was a picky five-year-old, then that's different. The kid is 14. He is old enough to understand. Too bad your wife isn't. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and hopefully I see you soon.